Hello and welcome to this webinar on using the cutting tools in Storybook uh, 4.0. There are many many tools that you can use to um, touch up your photos and to select only that which you want. The thing that I like to do is start with a contrasting background so that it will show up and be easily uh, seen to be able to um, make the changes you want. The next thing you'll need to do is flatten your image because uh, you can't use the cutting tools if you don't. This particular image, we're going to use the magic wand. It's one of my favorite tools. And all you have to do is click on a white spot, and you get the little marching ants around the image, and then you can say cut. And uh, it'll cut out the part that, uh, cut out the white that you can use on another page. Now we're going to do that again and take the center part out too. So we'll click on that uh, magic wand again, and we'll click the white space. And then you'll notice that it's not picking up on the inside of the tree because the trunk hits the black up here at the top. So hold your shift key down and select the uh, rest of the image parts until you've got all the white selected in different corners. And we'll just make sure we... I uh, got it. And even if you miss it, you can still go back and pick these up. And okay, let's just take that for right now. And then we're going to say cut. There, we still have missed a few pieces, so let's go finish touching it up. And um, we'll wait for the little <laughs> magic wand to give me my little thing. Okay, there we go. And now we'll finish selecting. If you need to zoom in, you can zoom in down here on the bottom left corner. And you can move your page around to make your selections so that you can make sure that you get uh, everything that you want. And we'll just finish selecting this. Now, I'd really like this white to be gone on the edges. Uh, and you can kind of pick that up, or I'm going to just show you another way also. And, um, excuse me. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll cut that. And then we'll go back to our regular look. And now we've finished it. Now, if you want to touch up the white and get rid of it, all you have to do is double click on it and then you can zoom in and I like to zoom in quite a ways. You can just move the slider bars until you find your image and we might be on the middle part of it. Let's see where we're, there we are. Okay, so then what you can do is you can take and erase some of the white uh, so that it will not be quite is uh, it won't stand out quite as bad and uh, I'll show you what it did in just a minute here we'll just kind of erase the white and oftentimes you may find some other whites uh, in and around your picture and you might want to take those out also and just I just click and just drag it around and it's going to erase uh, the picture, erase the white spots. And let's go ahead and accept that. Okay, so notice down here at the bottom, let me kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But down here, I've taken a lot of the white out. Now I can use that uh, as a picture for um, another, another uh, page and I don't have to have the white to contend with. Another thing that you might want to consider doing is going onto the Format ribbon and go to fil the Filters, and we're going to do a Soft Edge, and we're not going to do too drastic a one. It will kind of help the white edges, so we'll go ahead and apply that and see how that helps to get rid of the white edges. So that's one way that you can touch up something that you've gotten off of the internet. Okay, let's hide that. We'll do another one. Say that this is a cute frame that you really, really like, and uh, but you want to be able to put your dogs in it. 
Um, now, because of the wood, you're not going to be able to uh, erase this part unless you fill it with something else, and then you can make the wood grain uh, with maybe a filter. But I'll use the uh, shapes for this one. Whoops, we forgot to flatten it. Okay, we're going to use the uh, shape cutter square, the uh, rectangle. We're just going to get this inside and then we will say erase the shaded area and so we'll go ahead and cut and now I can use that frame for something else if I want to uh, fill it with a different color and um, let's just kind of show you that um, let's pick this color and then we'll say okay and we can go into format and look at the different surfaces and let's just see if we've got something that might resemble the wood grain. Um, let's try, let's try the burlap. And you can change the magnification and then do a preview there. Now we've got a cute little frame that you can add your own little thing to. Okay, let's do another one. This is quite a nice little vintage frame. Now, one thing I'd like to suggest to you is don't stretch these out because it's going to make them uh, pixelate and then they'll look funny when you go to use them again. I've learned that from trial and error. Just zoom in on it instead and then um, we're going to just use our magic wand again and we're going to cut out the center and cut and then we'll cut the magic with the magic wand again around the outside and we'll pick up the white here okay we've got it all the way around and then we'll cut that's a cute little vintage uh, frame that you could put around a page so there's all kinds of things that you can do with uh, the cutting tools and they help to touch up your pictures now, I want to show you this one because it's so busy in the background, but the picture is kind of clever. Okay, so I, what I would do is I would just double click on it and you can use the erase tool and you can slide your brushes or just click on it and you can just erase the busy, busy background and then you can put it on a piece of paper uh, and have your own background. So you can just select, and I use this tool a lot because I can touch up uh, certain pictures and have it be uh, easier to fix and to do. And I love to use um, these tools. So we are not going to go ahead and finish all of this because I'd have to, I'll, okay, so let's just take the brush size and let's go move it in so that we can just get closer to the dog's head and then we can um, I'll show you what you can do with it so this you can also do this and then just change the color so another another way you can select that background so we're going to just say okay on that for right now and see I erased that let's do a custom cut this time we're going to do a curve cut and yes I know it's got to be flattened Okay, and we're going to just go around the head of the dogs and if you do it really careful, I'm just going to kind of go through it just fast here so you can see what it's going to do. So there's all kinds of tools that you can use to um, improve your pictures, to touch them up, to take things out that you don't want. Uh, if you've got a person in your family that no longer is part of the family and you want to get rid of them, that's a good way to do it. Okay, so now we're going to um, copy this time. So we're going to keep both selections and then we will um, go ahead and cut it. Now we're going to select this background and let's just fill it with a color. And we'll fill it with a lighter color. Now you can see that I need to go in and touch up around the dog's head. But that's not a problem. So we can just touch, double click on it. We can use our eraser again. Let's just move it up a bit. 
and make sure your brush size is the right size. And just touch up around. And there you go. You've got that gone. And it will click OK. Now, we've kind of erased part of that. So you might have to kind of squish down the, the background so that it just kind of hides there. If you want to put a texture so that it's not such a stark look to it, change the surface. Let's just do a little basket weave, and I'll show you that one. We'll preview that. There. The dogs are sitting with the little basket behind them. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with these cutting tools, and they're just really a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and hide that. And here's a cute little one, too. Um, if you want to use these little penguin snowmen for, for frames for pictures, just use the cutting tools again to get rid of, and I always forget to flatten up first. So learn from my mistake. Okay, we're going to just click Cut. Now, we've got this little writing down here. And so let's just use our Shape Cutter. And Okay, there we go. And we'll select the shape. We're just going to cut that right out and so we don't have to deal with it. Now, we can also use our Straight Cutter. And we're going to separate, so we're going to keep both, and we'll cut, and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, then we're going to take these two, and we're going to cut them horizontally this time, so we have four pieces instead of one. And you can rotate, and then keep both sections, and cut. Now we have four little frames that we can use. And to get rid of the white, just use your magic wand in the middle, and you'll be able to sneak a little picture back behind that. Um, I, I hope this has helped you. I thought I had something else I was going to show you. Now I can't remember what it was. But there's just use the magic wand and the custom tools and your shapes and straight cutters. Um, there's a lot that you can do with them. Hope this has helped, and if you have, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and uh, I'll be glad to address those issues. Thank you. Have a great day.